Hi, this is my YouTube video for finding the combination to your combination lock. This is for American locks and not the master lock. Um, I found out this method by trial and error. Um, I tried the other methods posted on YouTube where you pull on the lock and then you turn it and find where it's stuck in order to find a combination. And this method ends in 100 combinations. I tried them all, did not work for my lock. I tried the whole shim method with the soda can and yeah. That's the remainder of that shim. So much for that. Anyways, so the reason why the whole the master lock method of cracking into it does not work is because the mechanism for American lock is slightly different. So what he did was turned it over, basically use a screwdriver, a knife, and a smaller screwdriver to pop off the back, like so. You can find these screwdrivers anywhere. Um, try eyeglass stores. Uh, you can find small screwdrivers like this for eyeglass repair. Anyways. Also, this is not for any illegal activity, and frankly, you'd be stupid to try this method because it takes too long. Anyways, so now you have the back. So, inside, there is this small little triangular thing and the disc and like a discus thing like you see it very inside okay so what you want to do is erase on your lock and start turning right so you start turning and you can just look inside a small hole you see as I keep turning a little indentation will come up you can't really see it on the camera. I wish my camera was better, but you can see how it was right before and now there's a slight glimmer. That's the first indentation. So that's the first number of your lock for the combination of your lock. So my first number is three. So let me just write that down. Three. Okay. So now you just do now you have to turn left. So, let me just angle this. And you notice how the indentation does not, the first indentation is the, for the first wheel, and it does and like a traditional lock, it does not move. So, you keep turning it, keep turning it, until you find the next indentation. And you can see how it, the glimmer inside got a little deeper. Okay. So my next number is 13 and a half, so I'll just make that 14. So, 14. Okay. Now, last number. Do -do -do. Keep turning, keep turning, just keep turning. Oh, you see how, you saw that, right? You saw the very last indentation, and now there's no glimmer at all inside the small circle. Now be representative of your last number. Your last number, for me at least, is 2627. Um, 26 sounds good. And that is my combination. So, to prove that it works, so let's go to 3, skip 14, and then let's go to 26. And voila! You have your combination. And it takes about 5 minutes to pop out from the back, and about maybe a minute to find a combination in the back. Just so we're clear, I just, there's a small il illustration, and that's what the back, that's what your lock should look like once you've found all the combinations and everything's aligned, because it works like a traditional lock. Now, if you want to find the reverse combination, where instead of going right, left, right, you go left, right, left, um, you just do it backwards, so you line everything up, and 
my backwards combination turned out to be 36, 18, and 27. So to prove that it works, let's see, you normally turn right, now you turn left. So 36, 18, 27. And notice how the last numbers, the last numbers tend to be uh, pretty much the same for the two combinations. So, 3, 14, 26 was my first combination, and 36, 18, 27 was my second combination. 27, 26, it works either way, but the third number is always the same. Well, that was my method. Good luck.